Hello and welcome to Unboxing with Bill. Have you ever seen something that looked really cool on Kickstarter and then said, man, that looks really cool. I think I'm gonna spend my money and back it to take my cash. Well, I did that and now I got a box. So let's check out what's inside. Hey, 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 it's time to unbox things that involve boxes and boxes and paper and stuffing. There you go, Parappa. It's a book. Do you know what book it is, Dave? Dun 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 This is Quest Givers. This. This deluxe book. Mm, it even smells good. It smells like adventures, Dave. This deluxe book is the brainchild of Quest Givers. Um, two people who have had an enormous impact on me as a gaming crafter. I'm talking about DM Scotty, Scotty McFarland, and DMG Info, that's DM Gareth. And these two guys started this collab um, of quest givers. The idea was, is that they as uh, world builders and DMs and creators and crafters would create adventures that were fluid and could be used in a number of different kind of gaming systems and also encourage you to integrate things like terrain and, and minis and crafting into your games. When they first formed uh, quest givers, I, I immediately followed them. I thought their ideas were really cool and innovative and then they decided to start, you know, collaborating on this project. So the North Road, to me, I, I can't wait to crack this book open because to me, it seems like good old fashioned D&D. Um, and, and I grew up playing D&D with people who did not plan out, you know, epic worlds. Uh, they planned out things like one adventure at a time. And sometimes there were like recurring characters or places we'd go to, or recurring villains. But like a lot of time it was just kind of serial, episodic adventures. Um, and I haven't read the book yet because I just unboxed it, but I have read about what they are working on and I've seen some of the sample pages. And to me what, what makes this uh, kind of reminiscent of that good old fashioned D&D is that there are a lot of potential story threads. There are story options but it's not like a module or adventure campaign in a sense where you have to go in a linear direction like A goes to B, B goes to C, C goes to D. Because a lot of times those published adventures and modules are very linear and a DM without a lot of versatility, flexibility, or ability to improvise can end up railroading the party into following the prescribed order of the adventure. I don't get that vibe from this. Um, I get a bunch of adventures that the players with their own agency can choose from. And this being a guide to helping the GM run the game. I think that you know you could use this with D&D, 5th edition. You could use it with any fantasy role-playing game probably. Um, and in fact, I can't wait to crack it open because I wanna see if any of this content would work well for uh, my Lamentations of the Flame Princess campaign, The Lamenters. So I'm really excited. Um, let's just take a look at some of this, Dave. I don't know how zoomed in you are, but I'm gonna crack open the book. Um, the layout. So the layout, and I'm not gonna keep these pages open too long because that's spoilers. The layout is, is kind of old school in its vibes as well. Um, it doesn't look like something that you would see from fifth edition. Uh, there are kind of block header areas um, that give you information. There's cool art inside. Um, there's these like DM notes, like, you know, like sticky post kind of things. Um, look, there's like a coffee stain there. So it, it kind of has a very kind of cool retro vibe to it, which is probably what I liked about it. But if you didn't play D&D, back in the old, old days, you, you, know, you might not recognize this style, but it's, it looks kind of like 
um, they integrate these different kind of layout styles and art styles um, very well. And, and some of them are kind of retro and some of them even kind of pay homage to certain things. Um, and each one of these, uh, of the 16 adventures that are included in here, um, all link back to this core idea of, you know, an adventure partying, uh, an adventuring party being able to like travel the roads and find adventure wherever they go. Um, I'll read you the back cover here. The North Road is a great campaign to run with your choice of fantasy tabletop role-playing game. Adventures that entertain your RPG group, hook them with an interesting story, great characters, fearsome monsters, and memorable encounters. The system-neutral camp campaign fits with your style of gaming, your group's current levels, and the rule system you are playing. Run it how you want, where you want, and in whatever system you want. Each of the 16 modules is designed to be a different gaming experience for the players, helping to motivate them to continue playing through to the end. The North Road provides lots of NPC dialogue options you can use to add more flavor to your game. Um, in a nutshell, I, I was influenced by DM Scotty. He was the first um, DM crafter who I found who, who I connected with. You know, and, and I often say that I, I and many other people call him kind of like godfather of the craft. Um, and Gareth was right along with him. He, you know, DMG and, and um, DM Scotty were kind of the founders of the feast when it comes to tabletop crafting. And many other people were influenced by them, including myself. And, you know, I, I just like their approach. I like their approach to storytelling. I like their approach to integrating plot lines and characters. And I, I just love the physical look of this book. Um, it's, you know, relatively speaking, it's kind of a nice compact size too. It's not like a full size D and D book. Um, so this is something you could easily throw in your backpack and take on trips with you and read and take to, to games or, you know, someday when we have in-person things like conventions, you could do that too. So, um, this is definitely a big thumbs up. And if you have never heard of Quest Givers, go check them out um, because they have other stuff coming out as well as uh, the North Road. And they have a bunch of awesome videos on the Quest Givers channel that are there to help you as game masters and players to learn more about the games and how you can use them to create amazing memories. If you have played through any of this or you're excited to play through it, or you want to know more information, post up on the comments below because I read them and I will respond to them, okay? So we'll see you on the next episode of Unboxing with Bill. This is dope. I now I have something to read for like the next two months because I'm a slow reader. I love that they have these little like pictures too of the of. I should have mentioned that in the video. They have pictures of actual terrain and minis. Now you still can. See that? Oh, are you rolling? <laughs> See that? Well, hello, it's me, Wizzy. I'm back once again to remind you to subscribe and click on the notifications button, and. Also watch videos that are over there. And then don't forget to tune in to the next episode of whatever show you are just watching. And crafting videos and DM tips and pro tips for vlogging and all sorts of gaming things. <laughs>